The following scenario is as follows. You have your local LAN users, you have your access point that is broadcasting its signal in the air, and you have an outsource employee that starts to work at your organization, and you want to create a guest user. How do you do it? Coming up. Creating a guest access involves several steps. Now remember, a guest access is mostly an, an account that has a limited time period. So let's start with a user group. Let's create a new group. Let's name it guests. And the type will be guest. Now from here, it's quite self-explanatory. The user ID of the guest will be its email. Now you can use an auto-generated password that your FortiGate will generate, but let's use specify. And when we will create a new user account, you will see where to enter it. Now you can add up sponsor, you can add up company, and the period, let's add 24 hour period. So our account period will be one day. Now the next thing to do is guest management where we create our user account. Remember our user ID is the user email address. Now let's add up the password. Let's add the email itself. The company will be 40 tip. And let's just make sure that the expiration time is one day the other thing that you need to do is to create an administrator that will handle the guest account. Let's name it admin guest. And let's add up its password, a simple password. Now the profile will be professional and just choose the restrict admin to guest account provisioning only. And the guest group is the guest that we have just created. Now, if we log out, let's just enter again as our admin guest. Let's see what the admin guest sees when he enters your 48. Well, that's the thing that he sees. Well, that's what he sees. He sees the different accounts. He can add up new account. He can delete accounts. So let's log out and let's enter again. Okay. The last thing to do is to add up a captive portal to the interface where your outsource employees will connect through. That's our interface, security mode, captive portal, and restrict it to the guest group. Okay, so now we have user group, we have created the user account, we have chosen the password, but the password can be auto-generated and sent to our user email. And now let's move over to our Ubuntu device, which is connected to our interface. And from here we have the captive portal. And there we have it.